How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword, and today we're going to be playing a game called No Man's Sky. Probably some of you have heard of this game. Um, I just got it on Steam the other day, it was on sale. Let's go ahead and get into my game. I only have a few hours played, and let me tell you, those first few hours were intense. I'll, uh, I'll tell you how they went <laughs> in, a, in a minute, but... Um, yeah, this game, uh, it, it, it kind of didn't have a good launch. Like, it came out two years ago, I think. The, wow, I can't believe it's already been two years. And they, basically what happened was they promised a lot, and when it came out, it really didn't have everything that everybody was, uh, expecting. So it got a bunch of bad reviews. But, and so, you know, I kind of, I kind of stayed away from it. But it looked interesting. I just wish it was better, you know. So they've come out with a lot of patches and updates, and now I think the game is what it should have been when it was launched. And I saw it on sale on Steam for half price for $29.99, and I thought, why not? You know, they've, they've updated it a lot, I, it looked fun, and I wanted to give it a shot. So this is actually not the world that I spawned on. I spawned on a totally different world. So if you don't know anything about No Man's Sky, basically there's like an infinite number of worlds pretty much. They're all different. Um, they're just randomly generated and whatnot. So are the creatures and plants and everything. So no, no two planets are going to be the same. And basically all you do is you explore and you can mine stuff with your little laser gun. And then you use the uh, materials that you gain from mining to craft things. You can upgrade your ship. You know, one of those type of games. So if you like games where you just can chill and, you know, gather materials and craft and survive and explore, then you're probably going to like this game a lot. Um, so let me tell you, <laughs> when I first got in, uh, the world that I spawned on was like a... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump in my, my new ship. It was a, uh, a planet that was really, really hot, and I was almost dead, like, pretty much right away. Let's go ahead and uh, let's fly around a little bit. So you don't like have a ship, a working ship right away. You actually have to find your ship and then repair it. But um, I've already done that part of it. Ooh, actually there's a copper deposit right there. I'm gonna take it down and, and land here so I can get that copper. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and I had to figure out how to survive like when you're on a hot planet, you're, uh, you need to have thermal protection and you have to harvest the right materials to do, to, uh, here, let me go to, the, let me explain it a little better. So you have hazard protection and you have to recharge your hazard protection system every now and then, um, with sodium or sodium nitrate, any of these things basically. And you also have your life support, which is basically from, uh, oxygen and you have to gather plants that have oxygen. Uh, in order to recharge it, or you have to craft uh, these different things. And I didn't know any of that when I first started playing the game, so I was like, what? I was like dying and all this other stuff. Where'd that copper go? I saw a huge deposit of copper. Where did it go? I just saw it. Are you kidding me? I thought it was like right around here. Hold on. So you could like scan your surroundings like I did there just every now and then it'll show you plants that are nearby. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest this uh, sodium plant. I could have sworn there was a huge copper deposit like right around here. Did it disappear on me? That's weird. I could always, I'm going to tag that cargo so we can go check it out. So basically where I'm at now is this is the, the second planet that I've ever been on. Yeah, I guess I don't know where that copper deposit, maybe I'll see things, but let's go check out that cargo drop. This is a second planet I've been on, and um, I finally have the ability to like start building my own base. And I haven't uh, started building my base, and I don't really want to build my base on this like frozen wasteland of a planet. So I think I'm going to go ahead and find a different planet to build my base on, but first... Are you kidding me? That's another thing I've noticed is uh, you don't have a lot of inventory space, so it's, it's kind of precious, so... Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna have to get rid of something here. Um, I don't have like anything that can shoot yet, so I'm just gonna get rid of that projectile ammo. I can always craft more later. 
But yeah, I wanted to do a video on this game because I'm actually having a lot of fun playing it. And I know that some of you guys were probably like me and you were on the fence about it. And you weren't sure if it was actually good or not. So the cool thing about this game, let me go to my starship uh, really quick. So my launch thrusters are almost empty, but I already crafted this uh, launch fuel. So I'm going to go ahead and boot, put it in there. So every time you launch from your ship, it uses up that. So the cool thing about this game is once you get past the initial loading screen, there's no loading that I've seen. The planets are massive and like there's so much to explore. And also the cool thing about it is, so, hold on, I thought there was a planet with some rings around here. Yeah, I'm gonna go to this planet up there. So, like, if you wanna go to another planet, you literally just get in your ship and fly there. So I'm just gonna go straight up. Let's get out of this planet's atmosphere. We can go ahead and enter space. It doesn't take very long. I think I'm already in space now. Let's go ahead and uh, get down. So now that I'm out of this planet's uh, atmosphere, I can fly a lot faster. I've noticed that if there's like a, uh, a waypoint you got to get to on the planet, it's much faster if you go into outer space and then fly around the planet and then let, go back into the atmosphere. But let's go ahead and go to this planet. Can I scan it? It might be too far away to scan. So, even boosting to it, it's gonna take me six minutes to get there. So I'm gonna just go into hyperspace here. <laughs> it's only gonna take me 20 seconds to get there now. Uh, even though I'm going through all these like rocks and stuff, I guess it doesn't even matter. But yeah, this game is a lot of fun if you like exploring, if you like, I don't know, the type of game that you could probably watch a movie on the side, like if you got a second monitor, you could be watching Netflix and playing this game, like, I don't really know much about it, like I said, they've come out with a lot of updates, and from what I've seen, um, there's a lot to do in this game. Whoa, 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 alright, so I made it to the planet. This is called Netcode D16, unmapped. It has a lot of gamma roots and some other stuff. Let's just go ahead and enter the atmosphere. See what's on this planet. Hopefully this will be a nice planet to build my first base on. Looks like there's a lot of water. Entering the atmosphere now. You can play online multiplayer up to four players, I think. And, all right. So this is interesting. I love that this planet has rings. Interesting uh, rock formations here. Let's just uh, scout around a little bit. Very uh, desolate looking place. I don't know if I want to build my first base here, but seeing as uh, I don't really want to find another planet, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So, oh, I guess I can't go to my log while I'm in my ship. Let's go look for, like, something interesting. You can find, like, bases and, like, alien artifacts and, like, different stuff if you scout around. What's this? Unknown building. So, yeah, let's go check this out. I'm gonna land right about here. Right. What do we have here? Let's go ahead and uh, scout this planet. We're gonna save and chart it right here. Coca Mab's Great Reaches. So you see that sentinel, sentinel guy right there? I'm scanning the uh, the animal creature behind it. I found a good way to make money is by scanning stuff. So you can scan different animals, you can scan the uh, plants and whatever and it'll like add it to your log and they give you money for scanning stuff. That sentinel right there though, uh, they don't like it if you harvest resources or kill, kill creatures. That is a funny looking creature. Um, and they'll start attacking you if, if they see you do anything. So 
We gotta be careful about that. What are some of these, uh... Let's go ahead and scan this mineral and see what it has. Once you scan it once, so it has ferrite dust, which is like the most common thing. Oh, look at that! Wow, that is cool looking. It's like a squid uh, crab or something. Let's go look at this creature. Look at this thing. Okay, he doesn't want to face me. Maybe if I feed him. There, I fed him. Now he's happy. <laughs> I'll let you live, but I'm going to kill this this thing. If you kill the creatures, you actually get uh, more dite, I've noticed. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, build my base right here, just because... Why not? I have a uh, base computer, so... Oh, I need some more chromatic metal. Hmm. So, I'm going to have to mine some copper or something else. So, let's go ahead and scan around. There's some sodium there I could go for. Is sodium... Can I use... No. I can't use sodium. I need, I need copper or something else. What's that? More sodium, more sodium, more sodium, more sodium, buried technology. Are you kidding me? There's no copper over here? That's not good. That's not good. Alright, maybe this is not a good planet. Maybe not. I guess I can't build my base, but let's see what else I can do. I'm going to have to... So, I just got this ship, and like, you see all these parts have an exclamation point. Uh, those are just broken parts of the ship, and once I repair them, the uh, inventory slot that it's taking up will open, so I can I can put more stuff in my ship. It's just a clever way to grind things in the game, basically, to upgrade your inventory. Um, you can also like uh, teleport things from you to your ship if it's close enough. You can get all kinds of cool ships. Like, you can get uh, I can summon my spaceship if I want, if I'm really far. You can get a, a like a Land Rover, a little tank thing. And if you have multiple spaceships, you can summon whichever one you want. Uh, it's really, really cool. At first I didn't like this little quick menu down here, but now I don't mind it. You can also go into first person mode if that's what you like. I actually find that I like the uh, third person mode better, so I'm gonna switch back to that. Uh, what else can you do here? Uh, let's see. You can recharge. I'm gonna recharge my uh, hazard protection there. Recharge. So, alright, let's scan this little ruby looking thing. Oh, it's. Oh, I can just pick pick it up. Oh, my inventory is full. Alright, so I don't like this planet, actually. Hold on. Actually, no, let me get out of my ship. How do I go to my log? I forget. Oh, okay, log. Uh, let's go to discoveries. So, I've discovered a few different planets. And if you want, you can upload your discoveries to, like, other people so they can uh, find your planet and stuff. It's actually pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, I, I can't. There we go. Yeah, I uploaded my discoveries. Sometimes they give you money for doing that. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just upload all of that. If I get all the species, then I get some bonus. Okay, I see. Yeah, let's go ahead and update, update, upload that. That's pretty cool. I, I'm playing, it's, this is one of those games that's like always online. Here's your uh, achievements, uh, different life forms, journal. It's actually really, really deep of a game. Like, if you like reading the lore and like, like feeling like you're actually exploring the universe and discovering all these species and specimens and things and like crafting, it's actually really, really cool. I don't know anything about these guilds. I haven't found like any civilization at all, actually. I kind of want to, so let's go back to my ship. This planet, this planet sucks, I hate to admit it. I'm not building my base here. Let's go back into outer space. Alright. So, there's some planets. I don't know if that's the planet. I've already, I've already been to that planet. How about this one up here? Yeah, those are my two planets that I've been to. What is this thing in the middle? Oh, there's a space station? Oh, guys, we're going to the space station. Oh, God, am I going to crash just getting there? Let's, uh, let's hyperdrive to it. That's much safer. The one thing I don't like about this game is when you're flying around this space, 
There's like a million asteroids everywhere, or whatever those are called. Uh, not asteroid, what's the other? Meteor? I don't know, but there's rocks everywhere. And even when you're like in deep space, you would think that there isn't rocks everywhere. Oh, check this out! We found a space station. Let's go ahead and see if I can go inside of it. I'm just gonna fly my ship in here, I think. This is a cool looking space station. I've been wanting to see, like, if I can buy or upgrade or anything. Awesome! The Yushval Exchange. Wow, this music got pretty cool too. Alright. Awesome. Let's go see uh, what I can find here. Oh, my jetpack isn't very good. That would be one of the first things I would like to upgrade. That and my tool. Check it out, there's actual people here. We got like heavy rock music going on. Hello, alien form. Underling Quella. Dismuladi Ushishti Hey Onumi. Oh yeah, okay, I'm not even gonna try reading all that. The life form's eyes widen in surprise. When I go, go to talk to it, they lean back and watch for sudden movements. They have very clearly never seen anything quite like me before. Really? Well, I've never seen anything quite like you before. I mime that I cannot speak their language and increasingly reassured that Beaker Trader indicates that they are willing to help in exchange for particular elements. Oh. Let's just give him uh, ferrite dust, because that's like the most common thing ever. They teach me some of the dialect of their people. Cool. I learned one word. The geck word for high. Oh, docking. Now we'll see what we can say. Sniff the geck? Nah, no thing. Alright, how do I uh, trade? I want to buy some stuff here. Here we go. Let's talk to this mining overseer. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Lightform, apologize their exact meaning, but it's apparent that there is no work for me here. Man. How about you? Oh, he's a guild person. I guess I need to learn more uh, language, like... I need to go to the mission listings agent. All right. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this game because, like I said, it's actually really, really good now. Ooh, a teleporter? I don't know if I should go in there or not. Where do I get my missions? Alright, let's go on the teleporter. Screw it. Uh... Oh, no way! I can teleport from my base to the space station? That is dope. Alright, let's fly to the other side. Apparently nobody useful on that side. Let's see if I can jetpack up. Come on, baby! Yes! I made it. Alright, can I... Oh, come on, I can walk over there. Can I get a mission from you? Technology merchant! Blueprints in exchange for nanite clusters? Ooh. Uh, let's see upgrade modules first. Nice! Alright, I have 190 nanite clusters. Movement plus six per life percent. These are all really good, actually. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and do the movement one because that's honestly like the most important thing, I think. Man, can I sell you anything? No. All right, I'm gonna have to freeze some inventory slots. That's always a struggle, I feel like. Uh, what should we do? Uh, let's just sell the rusted metal. That's just junk. Or not sell, just trash it, I guess. I wish I could trade. Can I sell you anything? Like, maybe I could sell to the person over here. Uh... Ooh, long range scan. Phase beam. No, that's a spacecraft. 
Uh, oh, these are like upgrades for my uh, spaceship. That's pretty cool. Not interested right now. Right, how about you? What do you got? Oh, he can upgrade my, my uh, laser. That's definitely what I want. Yes. Hmm. I'm going to buy the best one. Plus 12%. Wow. Oh, they have different classes too. Can I get a B, rank B? Yes, I can. All right, this is the best one. I'm gonna get the Blaze Javelin. Nice! Still won't let me sell anything. What blueprints do you got? Advanced mining laser? Aw, oh, man, I should have bought that. Dang it, because I need that to, to mine a ton of different things. But let's go ahead and check out my tool. Wait. Uh, how do I switch weapons? Wait. What did I just buy? I'm so confused. It's a... Oh, it's just a module? It's just... Oh my gosh, this is just an upgrade for the Blaze Javelin, and I don't even have the Blaze Javelin! So I just wasted all my money! Ah! Oh well. See, this game's tough. I'll, I'll say, like, when I was first dropped in, I did not have any idea what I was doing, and I still don't really have any idea what I'm doing. But, ooh, an appearance modifier. That's cool. Nice. Oh, you can change your race and everything. That, oh, that is so cool. I'm going to do that. Oh my gosh. What? What kind of head is that? That's so cool. Oh, wow. This game just got more fun. I really like the spinning head thing and the pyramid head. I think I'm going to do the pyramid head. I love it. Oh, wow. You can really customize. Let's just do uh, all white. That's actually pretty cool. My backpack will be... Uh... Oh, that barely even did anything. That looks good. Save changes, yes. Oh my gosh, I'm literally just a giant pyramid head. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video there. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, go ahead and give it a like. And let me know if you want to see me play more. Because I barely even showed you guys anything. Like, I want to find a planet to build my base on. I want to expand and actually upgrade my stuff and learn how to play this game a little bit more. Definitely going to keep playing Brawlhalla, don't, don't worry, but I like to show you guys different games that I'm playing on the side. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you're a No Man's Sky expert, maybe you can give me some starter tips. Uh, like I said, I haven't really done anything. I don't want like spoilers and stuff. Like, I'm not trying to look for like a get rich quick or anything, but if you got some good uh, quality of life tips. Like, uh, what, what, what should I upgrade first and stuff? Let me know, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright guys, this is Pyramid Head Lucian Sword signing off. I will see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.